We have some special friends, our favorite teddy bears. They're called Max and Mims, and here's a secret we can share. When we're all alone, with no one else about, Max and Mims can come to life and dance and sing and shout. We always have such great adventures. Dressing up box. Look at all the colours in it. I love dressing up. Oh, that's wonderful. But what about the one in the corner? What's that? Come on. Are we going to play the dressing up game now with all these colours? Come on. What do you think, Max? Oh, Max! Oh, oh, sorry, Mims. What did you say? I said, what do you think? Very pretty, Mims. But what are you? Oh, Max, really? I'm a princess. Don't I look like one? You look lovely, Mims. Or should I say Princess Mims? That's it. What's it? You can be my prince. My prince charming. <laughs> Laura, Sophie, look in the dressing up box. Is there a sash for Prince Max? What's a sash? A sash is like a... Oh, wait, you'll see. What about this blue one? Perfect. Let's try it on him. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> oh, Max. <laughs> mm, I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks very nice. Not sure. What else have we got? What about this red one? Yes, that might be better. Try that one on him. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now hold still, Max, while the girls try the red sash. Hmm. <laughs> 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 mm, that's better, I think. But then again, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think this one looks nice, too. Hmm. Yes, I like the red one. Mm, but then... Yeah. <laughs> have we got anything else? Laura? Laura, is there another one? What about the yellow one? Oh, yes, yellow. Yellow is sort of like gold, isn't it? Let's try the yellow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That looks very good. I like the yellow one. What about the green? I hadn't thought of green. Oh, I really don't know. What do you think, Max? Um, think about what, Mims? <laughs> the colour, Max. Do you like the red one? Or the yellow one? Or the blue one? Or the green? Um, well, I like them all, Mims. Oh, Max, that's no good. Come on, let's go and talk about it, OK? Mims, how many colours are there? I've just told you there's blue and red and yellow and green. I don't mean that. I mean all together. How many colours are there all together? In the whole world? Yes, in the whole world. Gosh, I don't know. There must be hundreds and hundreds. Mm. So how do I remember what they're all called? Well, only some of them have names, Max. And to remember them, I usually try to sing a song that reminds me. A song? What sort of song? A colour song. Now, let me think. If I want to remember black and white, I remember sheep. Sheep? Yes. The white sheep in Mary Had a Little Lamb. And the black sheep in... Baba Black Sheep. Exactly. Now you understand. Well, I might understand a bit better if we sing the songs as well. That's a great idea. Who wants to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb? I do. Come on then, everybody. Places. Mary had a little lamb, its peace was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And lambs are white? Yes, lambs are white. And lambs are baby sheep. 
Shall we sing the song again? Yes, that's a good idea. Mary had a little lamb, its peace was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. So, all sheep are white? Mm, well, no. No? No, some of them are black. Of course. I forgot Bar Bar Black Sheep. Let's sing it now to help me remember. Come on, everybody. Let's sing Bar Bar Black Sheep. Oh, yes. That's one of my favorites. Yes! Mm. Bar Bar Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. So now I should be able to remember black and white. Unless, of course... Unless what? Unless there are any more songs about black and white. I mean, I do like singing songs and... <laughs> oh, Max, any excuse to sing another song. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you think of another song? Um, now then... Let me think. <laughs> to see a fine lady upon a white horse. A white horse? What song is that, Mims? Who knows which song has got a white horse in it? Where they got horse to Banbury Cross. That's right. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. Who wants to sing it? Me! Yeah! A oh, great Mims! <laughs> Come on, then. Ride a cock horse to Bambury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes <laughs> Let's do it again, Mims. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this song. If I forget the words, will you help me, Mims? Oh, you won't forget the words, Max. Here we go, then. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes Oh, I like <laughs> that song! Oh, so do I. So are there any more songs about black or white? I can't think of any, Max. What are you three whispering about? Sophie and I have thought of another song. But that isn't about black and white. Yes, it is. Sort of. No, it isn't. Yes, it, it is. is. It isn't. Don't argue about it. Why don't you tell us what the song is and we'll decide. It's called A Farmer Went Trotting Upon His Grey Mare. Well, that's not about black or white, is it? <laughs> well, actually, yes, it is. No, it isn't. They're right, Max. Sorry, Mims, but how can the song be about black or white when it's about... Grey. Exactly. The song is about the grey mare. Well, grey is made of black and white. Grey is made of black and white? Yes. If you have some black paint and some white paint and you mix them together... It makes grey paint. I understand. Exactly. Now you see. Grey is made of black and white, you know. <laughs> yes, we know. So shall we sing A Farmer Went Trotting Upon His Grey Mare? A farmer went trotting upon his grey mare. Bumpity, bumpity, bum. With his daughter behind us, so rosy and fair. Lumpity, lumpity, lump. A red and bright crook and they all tumbled down. Bumpity, bumpity, bum. The mare broke her knees and the farmer his crown. Lumpity, lumpity, lump. The mischievous way with them laughing away. Bumpity, bumpity, bum. And it round he was served them the very next day. Lumpity, lumpity, lump. Well, I can definitely remember that now, Mims. I can remember black and white. What colours next? Well, I don't know, Max. What about... what about... Blue. Blue's my favourite colour. Oh, OK then, Max. Blue. Now, can you think of a song with blue in it? Oh, Little Boy Blue, Come Blow Your Horn. Oh, that's a good one. It'll help us to remember yellow as well. Is the colour yellow in Little Boy Blue? I don't think it is, you know, Mims. You see, there are two things that remind me of a beautiful, bright yellow. And one of them is a cornfield full of newly mown hay. 
Oh, I see. Yes, that is very yellow. And in Little Boy Blue, he's... Under the haystack, fast asleep. Exactly. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Who wants to sing a song about blue? And yellow. And yellow? <laughs> Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. <laughs> Let's sing it again. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. <laughs> well, Mimsy, what's the other thing? What other thing is that, Max? The other thing that reminds you of yellow. Oh, buttercups. Buttercups? Yes, you know, those little yellow flowers. That we grow... know what buttercups are. We sing about them in Ring a Ring of Roses. That's right, we do. Oh, goody, another song. I thought we were singing about blue. And yellow. You said. You did, Mims. Come on, let's sing about Ring a Ring of Roses. Oh, all right then. Come on, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, eating buttercups, a tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. <laughs> again, again. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, eating buttercups, a tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. <laughs> so are there any more songs about blue and yellow? <laughs> you mean green? No, I don't. I mean, are there any more songs about blue and yellow? Sorry, Max. I didn't mean to confuse you. It's just that blue and yellow make green. What? Blue and yellow make green. Oh. Black and white make grey. I remember that. So now what you've got to remember is blue and yellow make green. Mm. Do you want to sing a song about blue or about yellow? Well, what about green? Blue, yellow and green? Yes, all of them. <laughs> Well, I can't think of one with all of them. There's a song with blue in it and green in it. Is there? Yes, it's got a bright yellow cornfield too. Well, what is it? Lavender's blue, Dilly Dilly. Oh, Max, you're so clever. Let's sing it together. Are you ready, everybody? I am. Lavender's blue, Dilly Dilly, Lavender's green. Some to the cart, some to make hay, dilly dilly, some to cut corn. While you and I, dilly dilly, keep ourselves warm. You seem to be very good at remembering colours now, Max. Well, I can remember blue and yellow, Mims, but I think we should sing some more songs about green. OK, Max. Laura? Tom, what songs do you sing when you're trying to remember green? I sing I had a little nut tree. I sing Ding Dong Bell. I don't think I understand. I'm sure I don't. Why do you sing I had a little nut tree? Because trees are green. Of course, we should have thought of that, Mims. Trees are green. And Ding Dong Bell? Because of little Johnny Green. Who's Johnny Green? He put poor Pussy down the well. Oh, yes. I remember now. <laughs> Those are both really good songs about green. Shall we sing them, then? Oh, please, Mims, let's sing the songs. Of course <laughs> we can sing the songs. Are you all ready? Mm. Come on, then. I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear But a silver nutmeg and a golden pear The king 
your space daughter came to visit me And all for the sake of my little love tree I skipped over water, I danced over sea And all the birds in the air couldn't catch me <laughs> Let's sing it again! Oh yes, Mims. Come on, then, let's sing it now. I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear, but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The king of Spain's daughter came to visit me, and all for the sake of my little nut tree. I skipped over water, I danced over sea, and all the birds in the air couldn't catch me. That was great, Max. Can we sing the song about Johnny Green now? Of course we can, Mimsy. But you mean Ding Dong Bell. Oh, yes. That's the one. Ding Dong Bell. Let's sing Ding Dong Bell. <laughs> Come on. Ding Dong Bell, pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Green. Who pulled her out? Little Johnny's dad. What a naughty boy was that To drop a pussy cat Who never did him any harm But killed all the mice In his mother's arm <laughs> Oh, this is great, Mims I'm learning lots and lots about colours now I'm glad you're having a good time, Max What colour do you want to sing about next? Oh, I don't know, Mims What do you think? Well, I suppose we should really sing about red, but red is such a difficult colour. Why is it difficult? Because there are so many things in the world that are red, but there still aren't many songs about it. Oh dear, I see. Mims, show me what the colour red looks like. Mm, my cloak is red. Oh, that's red. Like soldiers. What do you mean, like soldiers? Red's like, um, like flowers. Flowers? Don't be silly. Soldiers wear bright red uniforms and they march up and down. Yes, but think of all the beautiful flowers that are red as well, like roses and poppies. Mm, I suppose so. What do you think we should do then? Well, we're supposed to be singing songs that remind us of particular colours. It's just that red reminds you of soldiers and me of flowers. Why can't we sing a song about both of them? One about flowers and one about soldiers. That's a good idea, Mims. Then we get to sing two songs. Or even three. <laughs> right oh, Max. But can we sing the song about flowers first? <laughs> oh, of course we can, Mimsy. What's it going to be? Mm, what about... Mary, Mary, quite contrary. That's oh. always been one of my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to sing Mary, Mary? Yay! Here we go. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row, a row and pretty maids all in a row. Can we sing it again, please, Mims? Oh, yes, let's. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells, and pretty maids all in a row, a row, and pretty maids all in a row. Thank you, Max. Now, which song do you want to sing? Oh, well, Mimsy. What are you up to, Max? Me, Mims? Up to? I'm not up to anything. Yes, you are, Maxwell. Well, you see, I know two songs with soldiers in them, and I really, really can't decide which one to sing. You want to sing both of them, don't you? Well, if you insist. Who wants to sing two songs about soldiers? Me! Come on, then. Oh, soldiers, soldiers. I cannot marry you, for I have no coat to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and bought him one of the very, very best, and the soldier put it on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid. 
afraid I cannot marry you, for I have no socks to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and bought him a pair of the very, very best, and the soldier put them on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you, for I have no shoes to put on. Cannot marry you, for I have no hat to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and brought him one of the very, very best, and the soldier put it on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you, for I have a wife of my own. Oh, that was a very long song, Max. I know, but it was good fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Can you guess what's next? The grand old Duke of York. Are you going to join in, Mims? Oh, yes. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were on the rock, way up, they were neither up nor down. Let's sing it again. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were on the rock, way up, they were neither up nor down. Well done, everybody. Thank you for letting me have two songs about soldiers. Oh, well, I didn't really have a lot of choice, did I? Um, oh, well, anyway, what colour shall we sing about now? Now, let me see. Can you remember the names of all those colours? Um, let me try. That sheep is black, definitely. And, um, the face of the clock is... White? The window frame is, um, oh, blue. A and, and the biscuit tin, well, that's colour, that's the colour of a cornfield. Yes, that's yellow. Oh, am I right so far, Mims? Absolutely perfect, Max. But what about the hands on the clock? Ah, oh, now that one. That one is two colours mixed together. Which two colours? Is it e yellow and, um, blue? It's the colour green. Well done, Maxie. So what colour are the spades? Oh, that's easy peasy. That's the colour of soldiers. So what's it called? It's called... It's c called, um, oh, <laughs> oh. Yes? Oh, oh, Mims, I just can't remember. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. Uh, it's called, uh, it's, it's called red. Well done, <laughs> Just one more colour, Max. Where? What colour? Over there, Max. Laura's cuddly sheep. What colour's that? Now, that one is something add white, or is it something add black? I really can't remember. <laughs> it's both, Max. Both? How can it be both? Think about it. It's, it's black add white, isn't it? It's grey. Well done, Max. That's all the colours you need to know. Oh, dear Mims. What's the matter? That can't be all the colours. You said there were hundreds of them. I know, Max. But these are the ones you need to remember. No more songs. Pardon? I said no more songs. We won't be singing any more songs. Ah, oh, Mims, there must be more songs we can sing. Oh, I really can't think of any. You see, all the other colours are just those colours mixed together. Well, what are their names? What is green and white? Light green. And what is green and black? Dark green. Hmm. OK, then what is blue and white? 
light blue. And what is blue at black? Dark blue. Oh dear, this isn't working, is it? I did try to explain, Max. There aren't really many more colours with names. Everything's called either light or dark. I suppose red and black is dark red. And red and white is called light red. No, Max. No? No, I forgot about light red. Light red is called pink. Pink? Like my pink pig. Pigs are pink. That's what I've got to remember. Yes, Max. There are lots of songs we can sing about pigs. What about to market, to market, to buy a fat pig? Oh, yes. That's a good one. Well, come on, then. Let's sing it. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jig a dee jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jig a dee jog. Oh, once again, please, Mims. Oh, yes. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Are there any more songs with pigs in the Mimsies? Ask the others. Who can think of another piggy song? I can. What's it called, Tom? Tom Tom the Piper's son. Tom Tom, just like you. Well, come on then, Tom Tom. You start us off with your song. Come on, Tom Tom the Piper's son, let's sing it again. Tom Tom the Piper's son stole a pig and away he ran. The pig was eat and Tom was beat and Tom went howling down the street. Oh, thank you everybody for helping me with my colours. It's been great. Are you sure you can remember them all, Max? Oh yes, I'm sure I can. I can even think of something else that's coloured pink. What's that? Icing on my favourite biscuits. Oh, Max. I I'm not being a piggy, Mims. Honestly, I just wanted to give everybody a biscuit to say thank you. Oh, that's really nice, Max. Mm. Come on, everybody. Max is going to share his biscuits. Wow, what? Oh, don't be like that. I do share. <laughs> of course you do, Max. You know, Mims. I think pink is my favourite colour. Why, Max? Because it tastes so good. Look at that tummy, Max. It's full of biscuits and pink icing. I told you, Mims, pink is a yummy colour. I think that pink is the only colour you can remember. No, it isn't, Mims. I can remember all the colours and all the songs. The first one was Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. So that was the first song, Max. Can you remember what the next one was called? Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. And Max, we had two songs about a sheep. And the next one was about a horse. Ride a horse to Barbary Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes Oh, that was a really, really good one, Mims. Now then, the next one was about a horse too, wasn't it? A 
on a way trotting upon his grey mare. Bumpety, bumpety, bum. With his daughter behind him, so rosy and fair. Lumpety, lumpety, lump. The ring cried, croak, and they all tumbled down. Bumpety, bumpety, bum. The mare broke her knees and the farm in his crown. Lumpety, lumpety, lump. The mischievous slave and laughing away. Bumpety, bumpety, bum. And the band you serve them the very next day. Lumpety, lumpety, lump. Do you remember what song we sang for the colour blue, Max? Hmm, yes. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. The next one we sang was one of my favourites, Ring a Ring a Roses. <laughs> That's right, Max. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, eating buttercups, a tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. And the next one was one of your favourites, Mims. Was it? Yes, Lavender's Blue. Oh, yes. Lavender's Blue, dilly dilly, Lavender's Green. When I am king, dilly dilly, you will be queen. Call up your men, dilly dilly, send them to work. Some to the plow, dilly dilly, some to the Remember the song about the green tree? Oh yes, I had a little nut tree. I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear, but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The king of Spain's daughter came to visit me, and oh, for the sake of my little nut tree, I skipped over water, I danced over sea, and all the birds in the air couldn't catch me. next song was a green song as well. You remember, Max? Oh, yes. Ding Dong Bell. Ding Dong Bell, pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Green. Who put her out? Little Tommy Stout. What a naughty boy was that to drop a pussy cat in did him any harm, but killed all the mice in his father's barn. The next one was your song about the colour red. Oh, I remember that one about the red flowers. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Pretty mates all in a row. And now it's your song. You wanted to sing about red soldiers. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife, and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you, for I have no coat to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and bought him one of the very, very best. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife, and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you, for I have no socks to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and bought him a pair of the very, very best, and the soldier put them on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife, and drum? Oh, no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you, for I have no shoes to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest and bought him a pair of the very, very best, and the soldier put them on. Oh, so 
you made I cannot marry you For I have no hat to put on So off she went to her grandfather's chest And brought him one of the very, very best And the soldier put it on Oh soldier, soldier, won't you marry me With your musket, pipe and drum Oh no, pretty maid, I cannot marry you For I have a wife of my own And then... There was another song about soldiers' mims. Old Grand Old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. The next song was about light red. No, it wasn't. It was about pink. Yes. To market, to market, to buy that pig. Home again, home, home again, jig, jig, jig. To market, to market, to buy that hog. Home again, home again, jig, jig, jog. Didn't we sing two pink piggy songs? Mm, yes. I know, Tom Tom the Piper's son. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> So now you know all your colours, Max. And I had a lovely time singing all the songs. <laughs> yes, it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Mims, it was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Max. <laughs> we have some special friends, our favourite teddy bears. They're called Max and Mims, and here's a secret we can share.